Hey, how's it going? My name is John Clark, and in this video, I wanted to make a time capsule for 2021. So many men and women put so many hard hours and huge amounts of effort into the many productions, music acts, commercials, video shoots, and corporate events that happened in 2021. And I wanted to start remembering these and making little videos like this just to remember them. This isn't my sizzle reel. This video isn't about me. This is just looking back on 2021 and remembering some of the great times that we had. Now, a lot of these things I have NDA signed. I can't post those. Obviously, I'd be breaking NDA, but I'm going to kind of talk about what I can talk about and some things that I consider notable. So in addition to the huge amounts of corporate work, I've also got to work on some really cool musical acts. Last year, one of the more notable things I've got to do was participate in the Sprite Summer Concert Series on behalf of Be Live and EPMC. This series consisted of three stops. It was Big Lotto, Sweetie, and Jack Harlow. It was pretty fun. I even got to shoot a sequence with uh, Jack Harlow involving him going from his dressing room through an elevator into a big reveal. Now, I can't get into all of that, but I can show you some highlights. I also can't give all of the audio on that due to NDA and me not owning the rights to that. So I've used some royalty music in place of a lot of these things. So let's check out the Sprite Summer Concert Series and remember how much fun that was. In addition to that, there were some other uh, notable acts. The band Camino, um, their engineer was great. The band themselves were great. My job was simply making sure that the writer requests happened. I even had to mix a little bit of monitors at the end just because they needed me to jump in that role and do that. But their engineer, their staff, their management were fantastic and they're an absolute pleasure to work with. So let's check out that. Oh, and I absolutely cannot forget the Beach Boys. That was a great night. 
I also got to work in virtual environments as a either AD or first unit director and that was a lot of fun to shoot different things in virtual using Unreal Engine and obviously again a lot of these things are NDA but it was a lot of fun to work on. I even got to work on a small feature. There was also a lot of shoots and I worked primarily with Mountain View Staging on a lot of their internal shoots in their internal studio. Now I can't post pictures about those shoots and those specific clients because I don't own the rights to that material. But we did have a lot of fun and we shot kind of a little silly thing just playing around. So I'll show you guys that because that was a good time in DC. Now this wouldn't be the production world without having a little bit of fun. So let's look at some of the silliness that we had last year. I have been so fortunate to be able to travel so many places. Last year, I was on 33 flights, and I've been to New York before, but I hadn't really got to explore New York, so that was a, a great time for me to see the Big Apple. I want to look back on 2021. This was such an undertaking. I was a part of about 74 different productions, either as an audio engineer, a director, multi-track, uh, location audio it was an undertaking that was probably the the biggest year of my career to date and this year is catching right up to it so i want to give a big shout out to the many production companies that i worked for bash creative epmc mountain view staging there were some other ones in there too like avms um arc 8 productions event architects that's that's just some I could think of off the top of my head. And if I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. But it was a huge undertaking. And I had such a great time. And I look forward to the next year, which is happening right now. So maybe I'll get 2022 out a little sooner than I got 2021. But thanks again for the great memories. And that was 2021. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe.